I have the honor of introducing Dr. Rose. Thank you so much, Mayor Walsh and Dr. Chang for being here. And thanks to all of you for being here today. So many studies have shown the profound connection between vision and learning. This program is very exciting because we're able to have a meaningful and direct impact on children as they learn and grow in the classroom. Our goal is to help each child realize their highest potential, and we believe all children should have that chance. I feel that Boston is a very special city. Our leaders care and invest in those who may need a helping hand. I'd like to take a moment to talk about our visionary campaign, too. We reached out to leaders in our community and asked them to lend their support and image to generate awareness about our vision screening program. You can see some of the visionaries in the photographs behind me, and some of them are in the room with us right now. It has been a very rewarding and inspiring project as it illustrates so clearly how leaders in our community are in this, and they want to lend their support and encouragement to elevate our youth. During the past month, we've discovered a significant need for service we're providing here at the school. So far, four out of five of the students I've screened need glasses. I will return to this school as much as needed to make sure that all of the students who want to be screened are screened, and to make sure that all of the students who need glasses receive glasses. I look forward to screening more than 1,000 kids over the next year. I am so grateful to be partnering with Mayor Walsh's Education Task Force in the Boston Public Schools. I'm grateful to my friend Joseph Feaster, who introduced me to the mayor's team and helped to get this program up and running in a short amount of time. And I'm also so grateful to the Washington Irving School. Principal Davis and Nurse Yume have been so helpful every single day that we're here. And most of all, I'm so grateful to have the chance to get to spend the time with all of you students. I've been so inspired by my time with you, and you make me want to make this program grow. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much. My name is Joseph Feaster, and not only am I a good friend of the mayor, but I wanted to talk about how we came to this particular moment, as it was an opportunity that I had to, in fact, meet Dr. Rose at a, an event for a Jewish synagogue on the North Shore. And she mentioned to me that she had this awesome program whereby she wanted to give her talents to uh, Boston students, and how could that occur? Where my immediate thing, thinking the mayor's a friend, knowing Ron Dorsey, knowing Makiba, called Ron Dorsey, who is the mayor's education person, and said, Ron, you know, how can we get this together? Ron got Makiba, Hannah, and other persons on the mayor's educational team, and we're here today. So this has been a collaborative effort. This is because of, and no pun intended, because of the vision of Dr. Rose. She's committed to this, she's committed to doing it with other schools, and the beneficiary are gonna be you young people who are uh, in front of me here at the Washington Urban. So I think it's important for you to put your hands together again to thank Dr. Rose for all she's doing for us. I only took privileged before uh, uh, Dr. Chang only in this particular instance because I wanted to be able to bring on uh, and, and to the podium a dear friend, a person I've known for many, many years when he served in the state legislature and when he became the mayor of this great city. He's been doing extraordinary things here and when I spoke to him about this particular program, he was excited about that, the fact that this would bring an opportunity to our young people. Um, I know for a fact I've been wearing glasses since I was four and a half and back in the days when I had glasses we only had one pair and when I broke them I had to stand up by the blackboard and able to be able to see the lesson. So I know that if you don't have your vision right, and the mayor knows this, that that sometimes can hinder your learning. So with that, let's put our hands together to welcome our mayor, Marty Walsh. Thank you very much, Joe, and I want to thank Joe for um, <clears throat> introducing uh, this great program, talking to me about it, but also talking to Ron and Kiva and the Boston Public School Department. Uh, Principal Davis, thank you for letting us in your school. It's a beautiful school. Uh, I didn't come to this school, but I remember back in the day when I was younger, I played street hockey in the back playground out here uh, when Father Coyne used to be up at Sacred Heart Rosendale, and, and I know uh, 
that's my connection to the school. Uh, but it's great to be here. The students, uh, these two young women behind me that spoke, you guys were incredible uh, public speakers. Thank you for that. And um, also, Dr. Rose, thank you so much as well uh, for, for what you're doing here and your commitment and dedication to giving back to the community and giving back to our kids. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great example of, of an owner of a business giving back to the community. And what, what a better, no better way than this, giving back to young people and helping young people as, as they move on in their life, but also have them look cool uh, with great looking glasses. So um, I like that. When I was a kid, uh, I went to St. Margaret's, I didn't have glasses then, my eyes were, I, I, could, I didn't need glasses, but I had a lot of kids in the class with me um, that wore glasses, and, and it was different then. Um, the glasses weren't cool, it wasn't a cool thing, and, and uh, it was a shame back then, and I watch it today, and I watch young people today really change the way uh, perception is on glasses and so many other things. All of you, you're all individual leaders in a lot of different ways, and I want to thank you for that. But make sure that, you know, as we move forward here, um, the doctor is not just giving back, she's changing the game. She's changing the game for so many young people. Uh, it's not just the free screening you're getting today or the free glasses, although that's pretty incredible and the frames are pretty awesome as you pick one out for me, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited to support those bad boys in the office some next week, maybe. Um, but it's also helping them understand, as Joe said, helping people read. As I got older in life, um, probably around the age of 40 years old, I remember going for an eye test and I was reading and, and, and my, the paper, the words in the paper were getting really difficult for me to read. And I remember first getting the glasses and, and I only wore them in the house and I wouldn't wear them outside the house because I just never wore glasses. And then uh, two years ago, I started to wear them in my office. So I had my glasses on my office. You saw my glasses, the frames are nasty. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking for an upgrade. I, you know, I don't want these little things. Um, but it's, it's important for us to understand the importance of, of reading and making sure that if you're, and supporting your friends. Um, making sure that your friends that are in the school here, friends that are, that are at home, if they're not wearing glasses and they should be, let them know it's, it's okay to wear glasses. Um, it's, I love watching kids getting excited about wearing glasses. And today, um, these are pretty cool frames. Uh, and it's important for us to learn from, from all of you. So I just want to end by thanking Dr. Rose once again uh, for, her, for what she's doing here today. I want to thank uh, all of the students here at this great school. I want to thank City here who's with us today. I want to thank the superintendent. And I want to thank the press that covered today because it's a big deal. Uh, these young people that, that are in front of me, uh, the future of Boston, the future of America is right in front of me. So we want to make sure that you can see and learn the best of your ability. So uh, keep hanging in there. Thank you very much. Now, there's a woman up here in the picture up here. I was kind of jealous because she took a picture in front of one of my favorite buildings in Boston, and that's Senna Linda Docina Fori. And uh, Senna Linda Docina Fori just walked in the room. And so, a couple things about Senna Fori. She grew up in Dorchester, up in corner. She lives in Lowell Mills now. Uh, she has four kids, right? Four kids. Four, two boys, two girls. Um, but she has the distinction, I think, anyway of being the first person of Haitian descent to serve, well, I know in the Massachusetts State Senate. Um, so it's pretty, so anybody who has Haitian descent out there, keep breaking history. And one of, one of the first in the United States of America. So, Senator Forey, thank you for being with us today. Do you want to come up and say a word? Yeah. Feel free. Come on up. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. Good How you doing? Good morning. Well, good afternoon now because it is too cold. But I just want to thank Mayor Walsh um, for being here and for really putting together this event with Dr. Trisha Rose for really contributing to your education, right? So I'm Linda Dorsino Fori, born and raised in Dorchester, as the mayor said. Now we're neighbors, we live next to each other. But I wear glasses, I have contacts in now. But I do wear glasses, and I did not wear glasses for a long time until in sixth grade. And as I was sitting in the classroom, you know, I couldn't read, you know, the board, the blackboard. And I'm like, wow, I don't know, you know, I think I'm pretty smart, right? But I just couldn't see. And so I went to an eye doctor exam, and they said, oh, wow, you know, you have astigmatism in your left eye, 
My right eye was okay, but the left wasn't. And so glasses turned my trajectory around. It really did, because then I was able to see clearly. So I want to thank, you know, Dr. Trisha Rose, really, for what you're doing, you know, in terms of providing sunglasses, but also the exam, because it's critical, because sometimes, and I see the glasses, how many of you wear glasses? All right, y'all rocking it, good job, good job. Um, it's so important, right, because those are the things, those are the little things sometimes that we think, wow, you know what, glasses aren't cool, I'm not gonna wear them, but you need them, and they're actually pretty cool. The frames now are amazing. Okay, the man needs help with his frames, but we're gonna help him, and you're gonna help him pick it up. But when I wore glasses, my frames were like this, they were giant frames. But now it is incredible. I just wanted to be here. I was so happy and proud to participate. I want to thank my good friend, Kerry Brett, who took photos, said, okay, Linda, will you participate in this program? And I said, absolutely. So thank you for your commitment and your work. Thank you, Superintendent Chang. And thank you, students here at the Irving and your teachers. And keep up the great work. Just, uh, just so the students know this, and I think you might know this, when Joe was talking about the blackboard and sending the first time on the blackboard, that used to be a thing we used to have to do in school. It was actually a blackboard, we used to use chalk and write on it. You know, and we didn't have computers, we didn't have uh, all smart technology, we didn't have any of that stuff. Anyone get that? Well, it wasn't, yeah, a couple of you laughed, thank you. ambassadors to the program who are leaders in our community. They're all chosen because they give back a lot to this community and I just wanted to introduce them to you guys briefly. This is Alicia Daniels. Um, Alicia, Alicia is an incredible overcomer. Alicia was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 40 and not only did she beat it, but she wrote a book about how other women can get through that process gracefully. So she's an amazing role model to all of us. <laughs> Alan, Alan is a very high-end clothing designer. He has his own studio on Newberry Street. And the reason we selected him to be an ambassador is because he tailors special suits for people that really need them, that some people have been, had an amputation or have had some kind of problem where a regular suit wouldn't work, and Alan donates and gives back to people in need. So that's why he's here. And he's a Dorchester guy. Tatiana, would you mind speaking for yourself? Because Tatiana is so interesting, I'd like you to actually Hello everyone, um, so my name is Tatiana Joyce, um, born and bred from Dorchester, so definitely Boston through and through, and it just fills me with so much joy to see you here today because when I was your age, and I got into trouble for this, but I lost my glasses probably at least three times, um, and it wasn't fun, it wasn't empowering, and it wasn't cool to wear them. I know that that's what a lot of people have said today, it's not cool. And at your age, it matters so much, or it feels like it matters so much, what your friends think of you, with what people who aren't even your friends think of you. But I also work for Crossroads, and that organization is all about empowering our young people to stand firmly within themselves, so that when you go out in the world, you're confident and you care about what you do and the impact that you leave in your community. And so having a pair of glasses, doesn't always seem like it can be empowering, but I think it's that first step. When you can see the vision of who you are clearly, then you help the world to see that, and you reflect that back out into your community. So, just a regular schmegular girl from Dorchester, but you know, you can grow up and you can be whoever you wanna be and speak with clarity and speak with pride and see the vision of who you wanna be in the world. So, thank you all again for coming out today, and it's been a pleasure to talk. With that, our event is closing. Thank you again, students, for being great audience members. And thank you, everyone else who came out to this event to celebrate this launch with us. Thank you.